Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 7 of my Wii U run and uh, we are into the quarterfinals of the World Cup and for this game I decided to change to a formation I haven't tried out yet on the World Cup edition of Ultimate Team and that is a 3-5-2 and the reason why I went with that formation was to give Dede a go alongside with Lucas because I believe that is the only strong link at this point in time I can get to Lucas because I do not really have any other Brazilian players that can kind of link up up with him so I decided to go with the 352 for that purpose and then I got a few other South American players into the side as well as a bunch of European players so that would kind of make up our squad the final player would be Gabbiadini on the top alongside with Seco and then would go into the quarterfinals and the squad would get matched up against it's a solid European side there, and when we played 45 minutes, just to kind of show you that this was my best chance of the half, not much stuff going on. I kept him completely away from chances, but I didn't really create the most interesting stuff myself. But that was going to change in the second half. He kicks it off, Seko picks up the ball, and I decide, let's just try a long shot. Let's just, let's just try it, and... What a shot that was. It just fired into the far corner. The keeper barely even moved. And that was just one crazy shot. Not gonna lie. And uh, unfortunately, Seko, Seko haven't been able to score that at the World Cup. Not even a goal. Even though he did get one yesterday, which should have been a goal. But unfortunately for Bosnia, it was deemed offside by the linesman. Which is a bit of a shame, I guess. Because they are now out of the tournament. But nonetheless... It was a nice goal here in the game, and it brought us up 1-0, uh, but as you saw the halftime stats, he didn't really have anything, but just one, two minutes later, he breaks on through with Sturridge, I couldn't push him off the ball, and he makes it 1-1, one, one. and then one minute later, I'm on the ball, Gabbiadini plays it to pay it, and I would say I was offside there, maybe the defender got a touch to it, I don't know, but he's hang on to it, get a shot in. Unfortunately, it is safe, but Seko once again on the ball. He played really well in this match. He goes past several defenders before he gets his second goal to make it a 2-1. And we're not done there. We play a through ball to Isco in the 67th minute into the box, past the defender, but not enough power on the shot, and the keeper could save that one. We get one final chance, 87th minute. Lucas on the ball. He stops up. He gets tackled, but we go with a tackle. It falls to Lucas, past the defender, and he'll get the third goal for us, uh, so we win the game a 3-1, and that means we are on through to the semi-finals, and two quite nice goals from Seko in this match, but as I thought I was on my way through to the semi-finals, I got disconnected from the servers, and yeah, I was out of the tournament, and I didn't get any coins for the match, I didn't get uh, any reward for getting knocked out of the tournament. I think I would have gotten like 2,500 coins, but nope, I didn't get that. I didn't get a free pack either. I got nothing. It was just they, they took everything away from me, unfortunately, and I was a little bit annoyed at that, but I did still go out and open up a pack for 5k coins just to see if I can get anything good. I didn't really get anything I could use in the pack. I decided to switch kit, and apart from that, I would have to start over in the group stages. And I was a little bit disappointed at that point in time because I felt that... I was on a good winning streak, I believe the last episode, it was like 4 or 5 games where we went unbeaten and then I won the quarterfinals, but unfortunately I did get knocked out. And into the first game of the group stages, I didn't really get the best start, he went up 1-0, I got a shot in around the 29th minute, but that was not really the best of chances, and instead he could play a few ball to close it just a few minutes later, and a nice finesse shot into the far corner. To make it 2-0 for him. But we find Seko straight from the kickoff here. He goes past the defenders. And I decide let's try it another long shot. And for a second I thought he was going into the far corner. But at half time he was in the lead. And I didn't create that much to be honest. But into the second half everything would change. We played one minute. I got a shot in there with a pay it. And the clearance I could pick it up with some most. It's helpful touch. But we get a volley in. It falls to pay it. And I decide just to send it back into the box. And we get a bit of a sloppy goal. But it brings us back into the game. Seko getting another goal for the team and Isco, he gets a goal as well in off the post and it's 2-2. Two, two. It's 56 minutes, we're on the ball. Isco is the provider of the through ball to Gabbiadini. We chip it over the keeper and within 12 minutes we turn the game around and three minutes later we actually get a fourth goal to make it a 4-2. So a lot of goals and quick su su succession 
but my opponent would get a goal as well to put a, put a bit of pressure on me, but the game was pretty much over, and in the 90th minute, Isco again with some lovely play, nice back heel pass to Lucas, who will finish it off and end the game off at 5-3, to three. so what a game that was, a few alright goals there, especially the last one, I thought that looked pretty cool, uh, that pass from Isco, and uh, we get our first uh, three points uh, from the group stages, we go on, we open up our three pack, we get a Luco, but we cannot really use him for that much in our squad, so, apart from that, we got ready to play the next game of the group stages. We applied a contract there, and then we went on into the game, playing in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation here. And uh, the squad we got matched up against was a solid African side here. And uh, uh, he would get his first chance in the second minute. I got onto the ball twice, but he just bounced back. And he would make a 1-0. Unlucky touches there. And I was trailing. But Isco on the ball. He's a really good player on the game. Even though he only got the three-star skills. You can still create some nice stuff. Unlucky to hit the bar and the post there. Couldn't get the goal. But it wouldn't take too long before I would create another chance. We're on the ball. Seco flicks it in behind the defender. And he is just oh, just the top scorer right now, scoring on every single thing. He makes it 1-1 and he even scores a header from a free kick to make it 2-1. He just finishes off every single thing. Once again, on the ball here in the 30th minute. A few skill moves before he plays it across to Payer. Stops up past the slide tackle. But he's able to block off the shot and basically just two passes from his own box. And he was on through on goal with Oberfemi Martins. And he's just too fast for me to catch up with. And he makes it 2-2 unfortunately. So all of a sudden it was even once again. But into the second half we played on through to Gabiadini. And we'll get a goal to make it 3-2 straight from the start of the second half. But he intercept one of my passes and Musa he will make it a 3-3. So again bouncing back and forth. And uh, just a few minutes later, I'm on the ball. I played out wide to pay it here. I cut inside and I tried to play the through ball to Gabbiadini who gets the goal. But unfortunately, he was offside. Just a few steps ahead of the final defender. And that means the goal didn't count for anything. And in the end, I, I draw the game 3-3. Three three. But still, that was all right. Sitting on four points after two games is still not too bad. Until I got this message. Once again, the servers could not yeah, I could not connect to the service or something, I don't know, but I get another loss, I get no coins, I get no pack, I get nothing, and that is pretty much going to be where we end off this episode from the next episode of... We will be starting to introduce the new rule where we get packs for the goals we score and such. So uh, look forward to that. And apart from uh, all of that, we are going to end off this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it and enjoyed some of the goals. And that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.